uh, my early uh, impressions on Star Wars uh, Jedi uh, Survivor. Uh, like I recently got this Friday. Uh, like I bought it at uh, the day one, right? I uh, went into GameStop. I got my copy, and uh, so far though, like uh, this game is really good. Uh, this game uh, is really good. Uh, like I am really uh, enjoying this game. I'm so far seven hours in, right? So I'm seven hours. I just got past. Was it was it a Jedi or that moon? Not one moon where you had to get this artifact. And yeah, now uh, with uh, this game, I am aware that this game has tons of technical problems, launch issues, right? Especially if you're on PC. I am aware that this game has uh, tons of problems there. But uh, so far uh, for me, uh, the game has been working perfectly and fine. Outside of the motion blur and uh, the cutscenes are very ugly uh, to look at. Uh, I am told uh, if you guys are uh, playing this game, uh, it's basically played on a quality mode, right? Where a performance mode graphic wise right it can look ugly you know especially the cutscenes like i said before so so far uh, this game is bigger larger uh, like a more a grander scale of that original star wars uh, jedi a fallen order right from 2019 and this game comes uh, four years later right uh, man it, uh, it's hard to believe it's been four years since that last game uh, man i swear our time is so fast but anyways this game yeah it is as bigger it's more of an open world exploration type game now there's more exploration and, you know, a side questing. There's more side questing. There's more enemy a variety here now. They brought in uh, the droids from the, if you guys know Star Wars, the uh, Clone Wars, uh, those annoying droids, super annoying droids. The Abedlam uh, Raiders, uh, lots more uh, enemy a variety. They have, you know, there's more like, uh, there's a lot more bio uh, diversity now, like in the world. There's more creatures that uh, they see, more of the, you know, overall open world. And yeah, but at uh, this game, uh, what, you know, uh, what I like about this game is uh, this game carries over all of this, the skills you had from that 2019 games uh, into this uh, into this one. So all of the skills you had uh, like from that game, uh, for example, you know, there's the force push or force pull, right? And you got the, you know, the super long uh, lightsaber, right? Uh, that you have uh, like from the first game. So yeah, uh, you have uh, all of those uh, abilities that uh, you have. So you don't have to learn any new ability. Sorry, I uh, don't have to relearn those old abilities right so yeah and as well now like you get like a dual wheel lightsaber which is very cool uh, the dual wheel lightsaber uh, it makes the gameplay very fun the combat is really fun you even have uh like you know spoilers so spoilers right so i'll skip ahead you even have uh like you know uh, like a blaster so like this uh, revolver blaster along with the lightsaber which is a uh, pretty cool it's really 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 it's really cool and but you gotta hit I regain energy like for the blaster basically so you gotta I use the a lightsaber more so yeah but overall though I, like i am really I enjoying this like i'm really I enjoying it and you know as well another one area too i like with the game similar like to the 2019 game is can be like a maze to find your way like to the next uh, objective so i constantly have to check my map like to find uh, am i going the right way am i going a side quest way or like some mystery way there's tons of mystery ways right like the a yellow pathway so the yellow what do you call them again the yellow doors are uh, you looking at the map there's yellow doors and those doors will lead to a certain area you know uh, that's an area uh, that uh, that uh, you haven't uh, explored yet but uh, that you can explore you got the red area so the red marker which is areas that you cannot explore so yeah uh, you know uh, all those things that like, are back in this game but uh, since this game is bigger it's more of a maze it feels more of a maze of fighting the actual uh, objective some areas so far are where I'm at. Some areas are a lot easier than others. Sometimes you got to explore like around, go like a shortcut way. And you can always create shortcuts. So if you die, basically if you die, you reset back at the meditation site, right? So that's a checkpoint. And once you unlock the shortcut, you can always make your way back to that set point easier, right? So yeah. Uh, plus you're going to have those mini bosses, a boss base, uh, enemies, right? Like when the enemy highlights red, uh, they're going to do some sort of unblockable um, attack, right? So yeah, you're gonna have that. And like uh, the actual bosses, you know, uh, they're kind of tricky. It's a lot of, you know, to parrying, you gotta learn to parry and block properly. And just like in the first game, it's in the first game, uh, learning those habits, parrying, blocking, and then attack. Uh, you have a lot more now to work with, with dual wheel type thing and the blaster, right? So yeah, you have more to work with overall, like in this game. I think for me, you know, so far, a uh, game has been running uh, fine for me so far, you know? Uh, apart from the emotion blur and the ugly uh, cinematics. But, you know, uh, like if I was respawn EA, I would have waited at least two to three months extra to uh, release a game. I released a game in, you know, 
June, July, August, you know, I wait, you know. All you have to do like was just wait uh, to release the game because uh, to release it uh, like in that state, uh, like on PC, that's a real shame. It's a real shame. And then this game has so much uh, going uh, for it, you know, uh, like a lot uh, going for it, like lots of good. And yeah, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching.